Right, Scotty McClure's megaphone in. How is the time doing? Heavens above, 14 minutes to one. Not a dish washed, nothing done in here. Place is a shambles and we're talking to Scott from Nottingham. Hello, Scott. How you going on, Scott? How are you doing, matey? Oh, ducky. Okay, yeah. You all right, me dogs? Yeah, just, you know, chilling out. Are you like chilling, La? Are you chilling? Yeah, you know. Basically, Scotty, what I want to talk about is, like, this country. Yeah. Well, Great Britain. Yeah. It's a brilliant place, and nobody respects it as much as myself. And I'll tell you, you're in a great part of it in Nottingham there. Well, yeah, I know. You've got to be, aren't you? It's a beautiful city. Well, it is, yeah. It is a beautiful city. I mean, I know like any other town or city, it's got its problems. So what? You know, we'll sort those out, as the last lad from Southport said, we'll sort those out ourselves in our own time. You know, that's nothing to do with how we are perceived abroad. But it's a fabulous country. Well, what annoys me the most is, like, nowadays, if you fly the Union Jack or the St. George's Cross, you're classed as racist. Mm, that's wrong. Well, do you understand what I'm saying? I do, I do. What? No, I'm not saying you're wrong, I'm saying that is wrong. Because all the... U it's not actually the Union Jack, by the way. It's the Union flag. Well, all right, then. The no, but I'm only... I'm telling you this. I'm not, I'm not sort of criticising you. The Union Jack is the, the flag that is flown from the Jack staff of one of Her Majesty's ships. ships. Yeah, that's the Union Jack. The Union flag is purely representative of the Union of Scotland, England, Ireland oh. and Wales. No, it's in Wales, Scotter. You know. It's in Wales, Scotter. Oh, sorry. That's where you wronged up. No, wait a minute, hang on. The St. Jo oh, sorry, I am, I beg your pardon. I sincerely apologise to the Welsh, right? Well, Wales ain't part of it. It's, it's not only, part of it. It's only England, Scotland and Ireland. In the Union flag? In the Union flag, yeah. Right. Now, well, we'll have to get a... You get more patriotic than me, Scott. You can't. We'll have to get a bit of a leak in there somewhere there, eh? Well, that's right. A what? A leak. What's a leak? Symbol of Wales, isn't it? Or the dragon? Right, yeah, the dragon. But yeah. Wales has got nothing to do with this country, has it? Like, you know, oh, like, you can't say that. For goodness sake, I've got Wales listening. You've got who? I've got Wales listening to Century right now, the wonderful people. No, no, no. I've got the Welsh listening to Century. Well, it don't matter about them. I'm not of course about it matters Welsh. about they're them. They're nobodies. They're, they're nobodies. wonderful people. No, no, no. They're no. Not. no they're not. Hey, hey, you're losing your credibility now. You and I are going to have a fallout. No, I'm no Scott. I'm not. No, I'm the Welsh. Scholar. The Welsh are wonderful people. Well, I were we're Welsh bloke, like, but we have our differences. Put yeah. That way. Hey, but never mind. We don't have any differences on century. We don't. We're not that narrow-minded. It's not like your local radio station that only broadcasts to a, a few cats. Scotter, I ain't narrow-minded, dog. I hope not, me dogs. What I'm trying to tell you is. Like, I'm not worried about the Welsh, you know what I mean? They're as long as you're not, you don't have to worry about them, all I'm saying is, don't be knocking the Welsh, because there's no wrong with them. Well, they don't live in my country. To me, they're French, you know what I mean? They're just the other side of the border. You're a dreadful man. I'm going to take you to Wales and make you apologise to the Welsh. Listen, Doug, I've never been to Wales, I've never well, been to Ah, now it's all coming out. Now that's the height of ignorance. Now, what I think you should do is say, good evening, Wales, and that I apologise. Well... Go on, give them an apology. Just apologise to Wales. It's not too much to ask, is it? Well, no, because, like, they want to speak their own language. No, no, never mind all that. You know, that's them with their history. You know, they also speak English. Yeah, I know they do, but... Like, Albeit with a rather funny accent sometimes... I know they have it. You need a bit of, you need a bit of time. The engine and right, well, why don't you apologise to Wales? That's all I'm asking. Just say, sorry about that, Wales. No harm meant. No, no, no. No, come on, just say, sorry about that, Wales. I am a bit of an ignoramus. I've never been to your country, your beautiful country, and I am sorry. Just say it. No, of course. Oh, no. come on. No. Well, I, hands no, across no, this. No. Hey, listen, what hope is there for this country with people like you? If you're patriotic... Right? Then you must have a love of the Welsh. No, because they ain't included in our flag. Our flag is included in England, Scotland and Wales. No, not Wales. England, uh, England Scotland, Scotland and, and Ireland. And Ireland. Right. Yeah, so now, I'm going back to your So you, side. you love the Scots and you love the Irish and you love the English. Yeah. Right, now, time for you to fall in love with Wales. No, I can't let me Let me introduce you to Wales. Go on, Wales, right? This gentleman is from Nottingham. 
He would like to say, Good evening, Wales, and keep a welcome in the hillside for me. I'll introduce myself to Wales. Right, right, okay. I'll shut up. You introduce yourself to Wales. Good evening, Wales, but as when push comes to shove, England is better than Wales. In what, in what respect? In every respect. Don't be silly. You've never been to Wales. You don't know what you're talking about now. Say again, good evening, Wales. Please keep a welcome in the hillside. Good evening, Wales. Come on, please. Come on. England. No, not at, at A. What good, is it? Good evening, Wales. Please keep a welcome in the hillside. Please keep a welcome. A welcome. In the hillside. hillside. For a grateful neighbour. Come on, for a grateful neighbour. For a grateful neighbour. Who is looking forward. Come on. For looking forward. To an introduction to an introduction to your wonderful country come on to your wonderful country no oh, 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 come on don't listen, blow it don't listen. blow it hey, don't blow it now to your wonderful country to your wonderful country and nos da no because i don't know what that means that means good night what do you mean good night nos da nos da nos da thank you nos da to you as well right there we go now uh, we've got john and lester dinky do john dinky do mr McClue. dinky do <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> you okay, John? Scotty, listen. Yes. I've just started listening to your program. You're joking. Yeah, the last few days. Have you been in another planet? No, I don't know what I'm normally doing at this time of night. Right. Well, in future, you know what you're normally doing. You're listening to Scotty McClue's megaphone in on Century Radio. Right, okay. That's what you're doing. I know. Of them. <laughs> Go on, get on with it. But tonight I've been listening to your program. I was driving back from uh, Loughborough. Yeah. I just pulled up outside in the street opposite where I live. Yeah. And I'm sitting in the car listening to the radio. And I can't get out of the car if I'm listening. And if I walk back home when I'm on hold, you might come on and then I'll sort of get cut off. So <laughs> I'm sitting in the car freezing with the engine off. I'm so, sorry, oh, mate. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, without blowing any trumpets, right, nothing to do with me, it's to do with the nation. I know a very famous footballer, and him and his wife, right, yeah. <laughs> used to get in the car at 10 o'clock at night, right, or at 9 o'clock at night it would be, right, and drive, I don't know, the best part of about 16 miles up a mountain to listen to this program. <laughs> Could you imagine that if a police car had come along and here's this very famous football and his wife and they say, excuse me, sir, excuse us, could you tell us what you're doing here? Yes, we're listening to Scotty McClue now. <laughs> Off. <laughs> Who was that then? Hey? Who was it? I can't see over the radio heavens above. Why not? Hey, I'd, 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 they'd have me chuckies off. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you're right, mate. Yeah, You're okay. I was listening to, actually, what the, you know the bloke that was just on before me? Yes. What was his name? From Nottingham. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. We'll call him Ducks. He, um, something he said, because I'd, I'd rang you, but I didn't know what I wanted to talk to you about, really. That doesn't matter. Apart from to tell you that I was sitting in the car freezing. Most folk don't. <laughs> 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 uh, but that bloke said, um, you can't say anything without being called a racist. Mm. And that, struck a chord with me really because i think the same i think i mean racism is wrong i'm not saying it's right but we're seeing it seems to be used as an excuse for everything well i think i think it's a misuse of the word because yeah. in actual fact um the british people as a whole are a race and that includes all creeds and colors yeah do you see what i'm saying yeah there's a difference between blatant nationalism and patriotism yeah i'm with you you know, one is when you think your country is totally superior to anyone else in the world. The other is a love of your country, with all its warts and what it stands for and everything. And I think everyone who lives in this country should love their country. Yeah, I do. Or move out. It's the best place in the world. Best place in the world, love. Listen, I'm going to have to dash and I'll get sacked. <laughs> <laughs> Will you take care of yourself, please, and go in and get warm? Yeah, I'm shivering now. Uh, you're beginning to shiver. Put your clothes back on. <laughs> <laughs> Dinky do. <laughs> All the best, Scotty. See you, love. God bless. Yes. Da -da -da. Right, uh, from John and Lester to John and Preston, we'll just see what he's saying. Hello, John. 
Hello, how's it going now, Scully? Hey, do you do, mate? Sorry to keep you. Ah, uh, no problem, sir. I, I just wanted to ring up and quickly, finally, say I think it's disgusting people slagging off the monarchy. Don't you? A flaming disgrace, John. Anybody who rises up against the monarchy is disgusting, isn't it? A flaming disgrace, what, John. What should we do to people who rise up against the monarchy? Put them in the town of London. Absolutely. What about William Wallace? Oh, he's a very nice man. <laughs> hey, dinky do. Dinky do. <laughs> right, Dave. Hello. How you doing, Dave? Um, listen, you know that fellow before about it. Uh, he was knocking Wales. Yeah. Um, what what right you got to knock Wales? There's no what right from? to knock Wales at all. Yeah, he's that's got no why, right. That's why I didn't let him, Dave. Yeah, he's an idiot, isn't he? He was a clown. He was a yeah, fat head. Tell, yeah. Tell he's an, an ignoramus. I know he is, yeah. He's an ignoramus, but I stood up for Wales, you see. I know you did. I made him apologise. What is wrong with Welsh people? Nothing. Not at all. I Nothing. Exactly. Nothing. Anybody that can sing like that gets my vote. Exactly. Hey. We'll keep a welcome in the hillside. <laughs> I'll see you, boss. See ya. Thank but, you. Man, I think you do, right? Now, um, I've got Stan in Northampton. Are you Stan? No, Scotty, you think you do. How's Northampton tonight? Uh, is, uh, is everybody uh, beavering away making shoes? Ah, uh, I'm going to clue, mate. I'm <laughs> uh, just passing through. Ah, good on you, mate. How are you? Eh, uh, not bad, mate. I just wanted to say that bloke you had on slagging whales off, mate. He's a total farthead. He's a farthead. We sorted him. He yeah. won't get. He won't get on again unless he apologises. He'll have to grovel on his knees and he'll have to pronounce clan fire eye wellow. You're a silly, you're a silly, or silly, or go go go. Ah, uh, not bad, Scotty. I can't do it. <laughs> Can you do I it? Ah, no, no. I'm English, but I live in Wales. <laughs> All right, nothing mate. Nothing wrong with the Welsh, mate. There's nothing wrong with them. They're good people. Hey, I like your show, Scotty. You take care, mate. Uh, you take care. Good night. God bless. Good night. Good night. Bye. God bless. Dinky do. Right. Um. Who have I got here? Norman and Lester. Hello. Hello, Norman. Hello, How are you doing, mate? I'm afraid I'm one of these people that's going to slag off that bloke in Nottingham about Wales. You're quite right. Well, hasn't he ever seen the film Zulu? Have I don't you? think so. Has he got no sense of history? No sense of fame and history at all. I don't know how much the Welsh did for us. Can, can you say good night and God bless to the nation, including Wales? Oh, I certainly would. Go on, then. Good night, England. Good night, Britain. Good night, everybody. Good Scotland, Wales, Ireland, the lot. I love you all. Fantastic. Good night, good night and God bless. That's it, folks. We're out of time. Dinky dude, turn on us! Frequently different for the Great Northwest.